There's an old joke about a beggar that goes up to a little old lady. Lady, he says, I haven't eaten in three days. And she turns to him and says, so force yourself. The et hanan is the word Moshe, Moses, uses to describe the prayer when he was begging God to let him into the land of Israel. Rashi, the classic commentator, explains that the word means a request for something free. He goes on to explain that even though the Siddiquim, the righteous, have what to trade in, nevertheless, when they ask God for something, they only ask as a free gift. This strikes the ear a little strange. It would be like going into a store and asking for free food when you have the money. And the owner says, well, if you have the money, why don't you use it? Because they don't like to use it. And the store owner says, well, force yourself. Moshe Rabbeinu is begging God to go into the land of Israel. And he has what to trade in. And God says, no. So if this is so important to him, this is the time to trade it in. Rav Nachetzal always used to say, if you want to find the answer, ask another question. The other question is, well, what mitzvah would he trade in? Shabbos? No. Mezuzah? No. Tefillin? No. So what mitzvah could he have traded in that God would have had to let him in? The mitzvah of taking the Jewish people out of Egypt. He could have said to God, the reason I am not going into the land is because I hit the rock. If any other Jew had done the same thing, they would not be punished to the degree I am. Why, Moshe, am I being punished? Because I'm the leader and I understand. I, the leader, have to lead by a greater example. So Moshe could have said, I never wanted to be the leader. You, God, pushed me to do it. I said at the time it was not a good idea. If you had listened to me, then I would have been just a regular Jew like everybody else. I would have stood up against the spies and I would have entered the land of Israel. Therefore, the only reason I'm not going in is because you told me to be the leader. Moshe had what to trade in. So the question is, well, why didn't he? Let me digress a little. I unfortunately have had the very sad experience of witnessing a parent burying a child. No one should know of such things. However, even though the pain is enormous beyond description. Nevertheless, I never heard any parent ever say, I wish I had never had children. Parents do not trade in this mitzvah. However, when it comes to marriage, unfortunately, you do hear a different story. Sometimes in divorce, a spouse will say, I wish I'd never got married. Why the difference? Because it's not like the pain of divorce is worse than the pain of burying a child. Because when it comes to parenting, it's the shma. Parents are having children for the right reason. But with marriage, people often want something back. And that's the key to enjoying life and everything that it throws at you. Because whatever you do, if you do it for the right reasons, even if it goes bad, nevertheless, you won't regret doing it. Life is not a used car. When you live life for the right reasons, you will never want to trade it in.